Hello everyone, thank you for the opportunity to share our presentation. My name is Luis Angel Morales. And my name is John Michael Brown. Together we make up the vehicle sub-team for the Citrus College Rocket Owls. The Rocket Owls participate in the NASA Student Launch and one of our main objectives is to create a recoverable and reusable launch vehicle. Currently we have created our subscale rocket and launched on November the 23rd. The purpose of our subscale rocket is to create a two-thirds model of our full-scale vehicle and test the integrity of the vehicle during flight, as well as the integrity of the recovery system. In this presentation, we'll focus on the mission success criteria and the mission success evaluation for these criteria. The five mission success criteria are vehicle construction, vehicle flight, the first and second recovery stages, and finally a safe landing. The mission success evaluation for these criteria are rated if zero are met, that is a complete mission failure, one to two is a partial mission failure, three to four is a partial mission success, and five criteria being completed would be a complete mission success. The first criteria is the vehicle construction. A successful vehicle construction is defined as an accurate reflection of our design on open rocket. Open Rocket is the software we use to design and simulate flight of our launch vehicle. Here we have our subscale rocket. This is the fore section which consists of the nose cone attached to the payload section of our rocket. The mid section contains our main parachute with shock cord that tethers the fore section to the avionics bay of our vehicle. And lastly we have the aft section which includes our drogue parachute an engine block that houses our motor and the fins that help stabilize our vehicle during flight. This is evidence of a successful vehicle construction for us. Next criteria is a vehicle flight. A successful vehicle flight is defined as a stable flight where there is no unintended separation of these independent sections before the first and recovery, first and second recovery events. Here we have a video of our launch on November the 23rd. Yep. Okay. Launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire! That video demonstrated our successful vehicle flight. And next, I'm going to pass it to John to talk about the rest of our mission success criteria. So, hello everyone. I'll be going over the recovery events criteria, uh, the safe landing criteria, as well as our score for the mission success evaluation. Uh, so, the first recovery criteria is the drogue deployment. Uh, success for this uh, criterion is defined as the drogue being deployed at Apogee or the highest point during a rocket's flight. Um, during our flight, uh, unfortunately, the drogue was obstructed by this Nomex cloth here, and it prevented it from opening up during uh, the recovery phase, and this resulted in an unsuccessful first recovery event. Uh, the next recovery event that takes place is the main parachute deployment. Uh, success for this criteria is defined as the main parachute being de deployed no less than 500 feet. Uh, during our flight, the main parachute was successful and deployed at 600 feet. So we did have a successful recovery event for the second stage. Uh, next is the safe landing criteria. Um, this is defined as the rocket being undamaged uh, and capable of another flight. So after our flight, the rocket was recovered and the airframe is undamaged. Uh, and all it needs is a new motor and it's ready for another flight. So this was a success as far as the safe landing criteria. Um, next is the score for our mission success evaluation. We did score a 4 out of 5, which is a partial mission success. Uh, the only thing that prevented us from getting a complete mission success was the drug deployment. Uh, this concludes our presentation on our mission success criteria and evaluation and thank you for taking the time to listen about uh, our first launch.